All right, guys. So here's a slide. Here's a slide I created from my Trading 101 course that you can find on my YouTube channel. Before I go into my video explaining the features and benefits of IG and why I use it, I thought I'd go through the criteria that are important when picking an online trading platform. The first criteria is to be FCA regulated. So that's the Financial Conduct Authority. This is probably the most important criteria because being FC, FCA regulated means that the, there's a level of protection with customers money that's not available when not regulated by the FCA. So if something goes wrong with your with the online trading platform or they go bust or something like that, then um, to some extent your money's protected. You also have 24-7 support. 24-7 support is also very important. 24-7 support is also very important. We're now in a 24-7 market, so we need 24-7 support, especially with cryptocurrencies coming into the fold, which you can now trade on weekends. So that means something like live chat, a community forum, or even a support help desk where that you can email. You also want access to hundreds of available markets. This is because nothing's more infuriating than picking a stock or forex pair that you want to trade, going to your platform and then realizing that it's not available to trade on your platform. Having competitive margins is very useful. The margin is the amount of money you need in your account to make a trade. So the higher the margin, the more money you need in your account to make the same trade. This is important because higher margins can dissuade new traders if they need a large account to make a small trade, which is kind of why I hate Esmo's new regulation, but I digress. So the last two criteria are especially important for new traders. You want to have access to a demo account because I can speak from experience. If you start trading straight with a live account, you're more likely to just lose all your money. You want to be able to practice with a demo account where the money is not real so that you can get a feel of what would happen if you traded certain stocks or shares or ETFs or, or Forex pairs. You also want to have available to a low minimum stake. What that means is that you want to, you want to be able to trade with as low as 10p per pip rather than a minimum of five pound per pip. Um, this provides flexibility in the trade volume without having to make large trades that you don't want to. So I've gone through the six important criteria that I think you need to have when picking a trading platform. Now onto the rest of the video. Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about the features and benefits of IG and why I see value in it. So let me just get straight right into it. Okay, so uh, this is the dashboard, well the, the main homepage once you log in. I've already logged in. Um, straight away you can see several different type of widgets. You've got the live prices up on the left hand side. You've got some widgets that show the news and any any analysis that's been going on in the market <clears throat> and you've got here um, any sometimes you get widgets that show you any new information that's relevant to you so right now it's the day before the ESMA regulation goes into play so they've uh, provided some information on that so let's get straight right into the platform so it segments your accounts into um, different platforms I've got my spread button and my CFD account here Got my share dealings account, which is when I actually want to buy and sell physical stocks. And I've got my demo spread button and demo CFD account. Now they actually don't provide a demo share dealing account. Uh, don't know why, but yeah. So these are all the different type of accounts. I still actively trade in my demo spread button account for just for trades, maybe cryptocurrency trades or trades that are a bit more audacious. So I just want to see how they're going to play out. Um, on the right hand side it still shows the same widgets that we had before, live, live prices, news and analysis and here's the IG Academy, let me just go into that. Actually before I go into that you've got community and webinar. There's no webinars running right now because I'm shooting this on the weekend but there's always at least two or three webinars a day that you can, you can go on, on Monday to Friday. So the IG Academy, I'm going to click at the top for the Academy. This is a very useful tool for new traders. It's a kind of a course for a very rudimentary beginner's course for spread betting and uh, CFDs and basically all the trading. And what this does is that it will go through uh, explaining to you 
the very fundamental parts of uh, the financial markets and how to trade and then there'll be a questionnaire at the end uh, for anyone that's new to this I'd, I'd, I'd recommend doing these just just to get a feel of some of the some of the knowledge that you need to have before you start trading and there's different levels to it so you can see what the course is you got you got the beginners intermediate and advanced um, yeah so I think these are worthwhile doing for new traders um, let me go back you also have something that's just been newly introduced which is the new IG community forum I like the way they've laid out this forum uh, they've introduced quite a lot of gamification to it to, to improve user interaction as you can see here there's a leadership board that just shows you some of the, maybe the most engaging community members and the people that write the most posts I don't know how they actually score this but I'm not really that active in the community to be honest but um, I think it's still useful sometimes you can ask questions and there's 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 a lot of proactive people in here and segmented based on the market so you've got forex cryptos indices you can really just talk to other other people that are trading and just um, really get information about trading and things that you need to discuss this there's, there's this there's probably nothing here that hasn't been discussed already so it's a really good resource and uh, calendar now there's a calendar view here I don't really like this calendar view there's another calendar view later on that I'll show you that's I think is much better but um, yeah so look at the monthly one it'll show you anything else so apparently nothing's happening this month which I don't believe see yeah I don't like this view ignore that we'll, we'll find a better view there for you so back to the platform so I want to go to the demo account now my demo account What I really like about IG is um, a very very simple platform, and it's it's very intuitive. Well, for me, I think it is anyway. But uh, you've got all the all the different markets seg segmented here. You've got ETFs here. You've got indices. You've got all the different markets segmented, and even even the commodity market markets are even further segmented. So you've got energies, precious metals, base metals. And for shares, you can even go through 4100 shares, 4250 shares, Wall Street. So it segments them pretty well, so it's easy to find. The only, the only uh, qualms I have with the IG, IG platform is that it gives you the full name of the company. I'd rather have the ticker symbol because that's how I recognize uh, stocks or shares or every, any financial instrument. So that's, that's maybe something for them to add to their platform. Just put the ticker symbols as a field. Um, as you can see here, let me show you how to open a position. You just go into a market. Let me cryptos because because the weekend. Let's go into cryptos. If I add this to my worksheet. So one a good thing I could do here is that I can split this into two screens so this is Bitcoin cash this is a 30 minute and this is the daily minute chart and they're all showing the same information so I can split it and I can look at different two different time intervals on the right hand side here I can place a trade whether to buy or to sell or to short as you call it and I can place a small trade as 50p per point so 50p per, per um, point movement which is kind of what I was talking about at the beginning of the video where you could the minimum minimum uh, stake can be really low so if you don't want to uh, really, uh, if you don't want to put too much money into a trade, you have the option to do that. Uh, you can also set orders. These are all things that I want to go through in my training course. If you, I'm going to put link in link in the bio to my training course, which actually goes through all of um, how to trade, which will go through buying, shorting, um, stop losses, guarantees, all these type of things. I don't want to go through that now because that I'll go off on a tangent. You also got. All these different indicators as you can see here now these are all the 
the, you know, Fib Fib Fibonacci regression, pitchfork. So these are drawing tools, and these are the indicators. So you got quite a extensive tool of indicators. A lot of them are the more popular ones, but there's I know there's way more, but these are the ones that most people use. Right here, I've got the MACD and the RSI available right now. Um, you have also have the economic calendar. So this is the calendar I was talking about that I prefer. Right here, especially for you forex traders out here, you want to know about anything that's going on that can affect um, the movement of price between the uh, forex pair. This is the calendar to use. Great thing about it is that you can set an alert. So if there's there's uh, something that's going on that I want to be alerted about, it, whether it's email, push notification, I can tell them when I want what alert I want and when I want it. So maybe 15 minutes before it happens, and then you just click done, which is really good. So you don't miss any news. And on the right hand side, you've got you've got the tweets from major publications, major news channels, Bloomberg, Reuters, CNBC. So you just can keep up to date on anything that's going on that's been tweeted about. And you can you can get and it shows you live notifications of positions that you've you've placed. So in my in my uh, demo account. I got up the position for Bitcoin and this shows all my it's like an audit trail of all my previous transactions and you can also have live IG live so here you can go and click on that and it's almost it's like it's a bit like um, their own uh, proprietary news channel where they go through technical analysis fundamentals and what they think is going on in the market so that's that's another great thing about IG good thing about your demo account is that if you mess up and your money goes low let's say I've got 8,000 here I only go to 10,000. You can just add funds, fake funds, but you can add funds. And, uh, I could just add 2,000. That's money in my account. Obviously, it's a demo account, so it's not real money, but it's good to practice with this demo account so that when you trade with real money, you know what you're doing. Um, So yeah, this was just a basic overview of IG and why I find it a really useful trading platform. So yeah, not trader, out.